Hey everybody. <clears throat> yeah, it's a Monday afternoon, gorgeous day for a early September day. It's right around 80 degrees, maybe be in the lower 80s. Um, almost no humidity to speak of, so pretty nice day. Um, today I'm going to do another one. I figure I better get it done since it's in a growler and it looks like it's got some rust or something around the cap. I'm not sure if that's rust or leakage. It shouldn't be leakage because I've uh, kept it upright in the fridge, but I'm going to do from uh, Kelowna Brewing Company, I'm going to do their steroid stout. Uh, I'm sure most many of you have seen it. If not, um, I did uh, visit the brewery here a few weeks ago, and uh, I've got a video up. I sampled some food and sampled some beers, and they were pretty decent, and uh, since then, I've done another IPA in a growler that was pretty decent, and I did a, one of their IPAs, one that they've canned, and it was not so good, but um, so far so good. I mean, it's a brand new brewery, op only open about a year and a half. Their, their, uh, their uh, tap room hasn't even been open for a year, so I got the tape off this. Let me get the cap off. Get it in the glass, a little bit of a hiss, a little bit of smoke. Get this in the glass. Uh, from the website, it says 7.8% ABV. Uh, a tan head sporting a jet black body with bold coffee aromas to the nose. And then coffee, coffee, coffee. Roasted grains and caramel notes carrying the senses to a, t to a coffee and chocolate note finish. That's all they've got. They got a pretty minimal website, but um, they got a little bit about all their beers. So, yeah, there was a head there, and it was a it was a tan head, and uh, it dissipated. It's now just a, just a ring and maybe a thin coating over the surface. But the only head is really a really a little ring around the edge. It was it was maybe a pinky of pinky of head. And now it's gone almost instantly. So. Uh, it's got a nose on it. It's pitch black. They're right about that. So it's pitch black. It's a good looking, uh, good looking stout. So let's get a nose on it. Okay. Not real strong, but I am getting some roasted malts and, and a hint of coffee. I'm not really getting any of that chocolate they mentioned. Figured I better get this growler open and. Uh, not sure how long it's been on the shelf a while it's been in my fridge a while so not sure how that long they actually last without being opened I know once they're open uh, you pretty much got to finish them but uh, anyway uh, get some roasted malts and some uh, dark coffee it smells like a, a dark uh, bitter coffee uh, definitely not anything that's got a lot of sugar and cream in it for sure but uh, that's pretty pretty much it so let's get a taste oh yeah now that's strong with them um, with roasted malts and uh, definitely that uh, that dark bitter coffee um, if if you like your uh, coffee with cream and sugar you might not like this one um, Maybe just a slight, uh, slight bitterness on the, on the finish. Maybe a like a, a flowery uh, or a floral, uh, grassy finish. Uh, not really strong, but a slight bitterness on the finish. But uh, um, not really picking up a ton of that chocolate. There may be a little bit, but. Uh, primarily it's the roasted malts and the coffee and uh, that's about it um, there is a little bitter uh, roasted malt on the finish and uh, a little bit of those uh, grassy floral notes slight bitterness um, seems to be a fairly uh, fairly uh, heavy uh, mouthfeel it's it's a medium medium to medium full uh, mouthfeel not a ton of carbonation on it um, it tastes pretty good if you like coffee so let me sit 
I'll sit and sip on this a while, and I'll come back in a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been all oh, half an hour or so. Uh, this has warmed up considerably. Been sitting here in the sun. I've been sipping on it. Not a lot gone. Uh, haven't been taking big sips, but uh, yeah, this is a this is a decent um, decent coffee stout. Um, I notice as it's warmed up, the chocolate notes and a bit of that, but it's it's that bitter bitter dark chocolate. Uh, you know, there's there's no cocoa or anything like that that I can discern anyway. No no real sweetness. It's it's bitter from uh, start to finish. Bitterness from the malts from the coffee, which is probably a malt. They probably use a, a dark malt with the coffee flavors, but uh, and maybe just again like those light uh, grassy floral notes on the finish. Um, I don't know if they're using. I don't know what hops they're using, but. Uh, I don't know, if, I guess they may be using those English style hops. Uh, definitely no citrus that I can discern. Um, if you like your coffee with uh, cream and sugar and like it sweet, you might not like this. Um, I'm one of those people, I drink my, my coffee, you know, coffee black. And the bit more bitter, the better. Kicks my mouth into gear, kicks my body into gear. So, um, I like it. Um, like I said, if you you're, you don't drink that kind of coffee, then some, might be not be something you would like. But you might want to give it a try anyway. It's pretty decent, so I'm going to give the Steroid Stout from Kelowna Brewing Company. I'm going to give it a good solid uh, 7.5 out of 10. It's decent, drinkable, um, kind of one note. Um, as far as just the the roasty net roasty malts and the coffee, but uh, and and just a light hint of chocolate. The uh, the chocolate, like I said, as it's warmed up, it's come out a bit more more on the taste than the uh, than the aroma, but still a decent drinkable beer. Um, not sure it's worth the the $9.99 uh, price for a growler, but uh, decent and drinkable anyway. So. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.